What's up, Young California? This is your Rose Delivery with Abby Della Rosa. We're here at GEZ's listening session for These Things Happen at the Lyric Theater. Let's go inside. Let's go see what the turn up's about. <laughs> What's poppin'? So we're here for These Things Happen. Right. What things happen? What things happen? Everything happens, man. It's like, it's like when you wake up that morning after the gnarliest night ever okay. in your life and you're just like, these things happen. Like, it happens. What can I say? Like, it, it, it's just that kind of attitude towards life. Like, we're young, we're, we're on tour all the time and we're just like, fuck, like, shit happens. What can I say? So you gotta give us an example. What are the g things that have happened? I can't even tell that shit on camera, it's not even safe. <laughs> what I'm gonna tell on camera is that kids, dreams come true, and they, these things happen. At the end of the day, it's like, I've been making beats before I was rapping, since I was like 12, 13, growing up in the Bay, and I just, I always had this vision of like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it at this scale. I'm not just gonna do this shit on some homemade shit, like, this was always like, this is my dream, and, and you know, we just worked at this shit and built it, and now we're here, you feel me, and these things happen, you know? What do you think is the difference between this project as opposed to any of your other projects? Every every album I put out, I always wanted to take that time and really, like, put the work in, the attention to detail, and put out the album I wanted to put out. You know, like, every song I wanted to be on point. Like, make 30 songs so you could cut it down to the checklist. Every, every project in the past, it was like, Yo, that shit is due. Okay. Like, yo, they, they need an album, they need a mixtape, like put that shit out. And this one was like, yo, alright, you know, we, we, we have a second, let's 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 do this shit right. Okay. And we, you know, every time we thought it was done, we went and worked more. Every time we thought it was done, we went and worked more. And it was just like, this is the album I wanted to make. Features. It's under wraps, a lot of it, but oh. all I can say is I got one of my favorite rappers on this shit. I got ASAP Ferg on my album. This is hey, gonna be crazy. Okay. He, he, can you yeah. shove it? Uh, can, can, can you? No? I got my one goal too. Okay, there you go. Just that's, a bang. That's G enough. That's G enough. So let's talk about producing. You said that you only want to do your beats. Yeah. No diss to no other art, no other producer. Why is that? Well, I just, if I put my name on something, I want it to be G. So, if, if it's a G song, I want it to sound like, you know, so that's why I always wanted to produce my own shit, but with this album, is the first time I open up to working with other producers, other talents, like, people are doper than me at different, you know what I mean? So it was me opening up and working with different producers on, you know, on basically every song on there. Why the change of heart? It was just like, yo, I can do this much on my own, but if I work with other talented producers and musicians, I could do this much. Easy, Abby Della Rosa. That was your rose delivery. Young California, can you say? Shout out, shout out Young California, man. They've been holding me down since day one, and that's real. Young California.